Last night, the government announced that places of worship can remain open for communal prayer, even as England will enter into lockdown under Tier 5 restrictions just after midnight tonight. We're at Riley Closer, so keenly aware that this dispensation is recognition of the fact that with rigorous imp implementation of full and proper COVID-19 mitigation measures, places of worship are venues which are low risk and important for people's mental and spiritual health. We are also aware of the responsibility we bear in ensuring that we stay open in the safest manner possible and are reviewing every aspect of the way which we have been doing things until now. In light of the unfortunate emergence of the variant and apparently far more contagious strain of COVID-19, the huge surge in numbers of people infected and the consequential immense strain on the NHS, there is absolutely no room for complacency at this time. We will shortly be sending out further full, fuller update guidance in writing. There will be changes. We'll be reducing the maximum number of attendees at services as an inevitable consequence of our intention to yet further increase social distancing. We will be ensuring that no one stays on to chat even briefly after any of our services. Shul will be open for prayer, but for prayer only. So much of that which we have always loved about coming to Riley Close in terms of social interaction, in-person programming and, and learning and events is just not possible or appropriate at this time. No one should feel pressured into attending a minion. We completely understand why some members don't feel comfortable about coming at this time and why other schools have felt compelled to choose to close. The decision is not an easy one, but providing a daily union is so very important and also enables members in mourning who wish to do so to say Kaddish, which is so important to them and their loved ones. We will, of course, continue with our varied and rich offering of online, online programming, as will the US centrally. Hendon Cares will continue to do whatever it can with its amazing various supportive and caring activities to lift spirits and provide help to those who need it most. This is undoubtedly a challenging time. But with positive attitude, constructive mindset and strong faith, we will, with God's help, prevail. Stay safe, stay well, and do not hesitate to be in contact with myself, the office, our executive team or Hens and Cares if we can be of assistance to you in any way. Thank you so much and very, very best wishes.